Okay, sold some blood packs to Moresti, did some shopping there and here. Now what? Oh, I get it. You want to uh, see what that shady individual wants. I've also got a few more caps from uh, selling the pre-war box to the... Uh, I'm looking for the seal scribe. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked him this far. He's out there somewhere in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Of course! I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Excellent! Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Of course you do. This android's a sentient life form. Dent to deliver him back to slavery. Well done then. Got a choice of sell him out or help him. One choice involves some nice sounding hardware. You have a choice. Who knows what? All you gotta do is figure out who side you're on. And. Can't believe how obsessed those aliens were with that toy. And Voltsec will be there. I agree with you, Gabriel. This looks like a museum. Once you look at that terminal, talk to the curator. Let's see if he has any work for you. I believe you're more or less filled in what's happened before. Let's talk to that bloke. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history.
Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me, and the Society's collection here. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. In the D.C. ruins, you'll find the National Archives, or what's left of it anyway. The building should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Here, let me pinpoint its location for you. Be careful. The archives are infested with who knows what. Ah, it's in the same basic area as the Museum of Technology. Yep, it's definitely filled with super mutants. You know how to deal with those, don't you? Closing time. Okay, I hope up to you, where to go next? It's locked for... Ah, oh, Temple of Union. And the chemical trader. Let's see what he has. Looking for that special something? Pleasure doing business with you. Cheers, pal. Watch yourself out there. Let's see, you want to find us if they have any work here. running low. Three days, maybe four at best. Simone and I will go hunting soon. Probably tomorrow. Ah, it is our newest brother. <laughs> what can I do for you? We are trying to make a safe haven for all runaway slaves. We give food and supplies to any that find us and help them on their way. We don't have enough room. There's not enough water or food here. But I have a plan. A plan to take over a place that will be a shining beacon of hope for all slaves. I want to move all my people to the memorial site for the great Abraham Lincoln, but I need to know if it's safe. I've heard rumors of super mutants infesting that area, though. We need to send someone to check that out first. I was hoping you would help us. The memorial is easy to find. Good luck. One other thing. Talk to Caleb. He'll need your help. We can't leave unless he's ready, too. He was a stonemason. It will fall to him to restore the memorial as best he can. 
He's been pestering me for weeks now to get him some things he needs. I don't have time to deal with him right now. May the spirit of the Great Lincoln protect you. Ah, so he wants to move to the Lincoln Memorial and restore the uh, statue. Make it quick. I've got a lot of work to do. Hannibal told you about Lincoln's memorial? Well, he doesn't just want to live there. He also wants to restore it. Make it so people tell stories about it and the word can get to the slaves. But I can't restore something if I don't know what it looked like. I need a drawing, a photograph of it. Yes. There might be one in the Museum of History. Alejandra says they have a special exhibit all about Lincoln. Okay. At last, an excuse to visit the Museum of History. Up to you where we go next, though. So you want to search the markers around here next? Yeah, go on. There's nothing forcing you to do uh, what's on the list. Not much right away anyway. <laughs> he's sure got a lot of his hands, hasn't he? First, he's got a job. Searching for this escaped Commonwealth android and is torn between what to do when he finds him. Now he's got a job. Clearing out a memorial as a possible safe haven for the slaves. What will we do? And when? <laughs> Why the f do I keep going all film noir? You don't seem too alarmed uh, about it, Gabriel. Guess you must be used to me uh, going. Uh, it's probably for the best. 